Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Unresolved Problem segment tonight. The National Education Association, the largest education trade group in the country, just wrapped up its annual convention. More than 9,000 delegates attended the gathering in Los Angeles, and more than a few gay topics were discussed. In fact, there was a resolution that would encourage public schools to develop material supporting the struggles of gay Americans, but that resolution was dropped in the face of some opposition. There you see the protests. According to Investors Business Daily, other topics discussed at the convention were moist heat, cold therapy, NEA money market accounts, and holistic solutions for complicated problems. Perhaps that includes the fact that 60% of poor fourth graders in the nation's public schools can't read. The NEA dislikes the factor intensely. They hate us, so they're not here. But joining us now from Boston is radio talk show host Nancy Skinner, an NEA supporter, and from Washington, Jeannie Allen, the president of the Center for Education Reform. So, this convention, uh, Ms. Allen, what do you think? Well, the National Education Association is not an education association. We have to get that straight first. It is a school employees union whose main and sole job is to represent what it sees as its labor force, which are supposedly the nation's teachers. However, its two million members are only made up 50% of teachers. So they actually, in Los Angeles last week, only had a fraction bill of the nation's teachers there deciding yeah, supposedly they're still, they're still policy a huge, on the basis of teachers. There's still a huge lobbying group. They pump a lot of dough into D.C. And it looks to me like these people, they're not, you know, they, they've got an agenda here, right? Well, there's a huge agenda. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is they're not an education association. They want to make sure that anybody who's a teacher does, in fact, belong to the unions. They can proliferate their own association. And unlike 50 years ago, when the NEA actually crusaded for better math, better reading instruction, character education, really strong accountability programs, they're now anti-testing, anti-standards. Um, they took a resolution against something so mundane and popular as charter schools. Um, they are so out of lockstep with American teachers teachers who want performance pay, who want accountability in the classroom, who do want higher standards. And so basically, we have a ruse going on here. They show up in Washington, they show up in state capitals, they lobby, they demand, they What's throw the gay money deal? at things. What's the gay Why the gay uh, thing on uh, the agenda? Well, it's like a lot of things. It's like when they tried to boycott Rush Limbaugh years ago because of something he did in Orange Juice. I mean, it was, they tend to just do things that are non-education. It's irrelevant to what's happening in the classrooms. All right, but the gay thing, when so the gay thing isn't, though. The gay thing's a hot issue in the classroom for a lot of people, too. All right, Ms. Skinner, you like the NEA. Why? Well, you know, they're a convenient punching bag here, and uh, Jeannie's taken some great shots at them on every account. Uh, in terms of this conference and uh, some of the things you mentioned, Bill, in that article, you know, there were 10,000 people, 9,000 people, whatever, here. Those were exhibits, these things. There was one booth with one guy who was offering massages for $5. That's like at every conference that you have things like that going on. And uh, they discussed many important things. Jeannie said that they, took, that they tried to shoot down charter schools. On the contrary, they voted to establish high standards for charter schools. So that right, I don't want to get involved in well, okay, so I mean, they like, did all right, we'll get let's, to the gay let's take the social okay. <laughs> let's take the socialization of this. But thing. you know, she characterizes they don't they really were right, well, doing uh, anything of substance, they were, but uh, to this uh, issue that you're concerned about. There are about. some things that are that are not debatable. Number one, they don't want standardized tests, okay, which I think is foolish. Well that's not true. Yes, it is true. It, it have a right what they here did what they against voted is standardized they said testing. at this conference all they did is they said No, that's that their parents, platform. The parents, NEA is against standardized testing. Period, parents Nancy. have the right to opt out. That was their position. That yeah, parents okay. should have the right to opt out. Look, this is a no-spin zone. Opt like out it. means they're against it. Now, the second thing is um, they the want they, this resolution was to encourage schools to develop materials supporting the struggles of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender student and staff. What? Why? Bought, what is this? Twisted again, Bill. This was about providing a safe environment for all kids. That's you not know, what it's about. It's developing no, materials. Let me, let me finish, Bill. Homosexual kids uh, have the highest suicide rates and the highest dropout rates of anyone. They said in order to provide for all students, we got to figure out a way. Is there a way that we can make our schools safe? Can we educate kids in such a way that there's a safe environment for them? And it was the Gay and Lesbian Caucus there who decided instead of pushing the resolution, let's just set up a task force. Let's study 
study this to see if we can come up with some That's solution true. that everyone That's can agree true. on. But it was but met the with gay and the gay and lesbian, caucus. but they, they realized, they realized the backlash. Wait a minute, Miss Allen, I'll get to you in a minute. They realized the backlash on that was going to be unbelievable, and they were smart. They were smart to pull back and say, look, let's study the thing and get more specific. Now, Ms. Allen, I asked you this before. You really, I, I mean, I think Ms. Skinner made some nice points there in the sense that I'm getting a feeling that the powers that be behind the NEA, and again, it's hard to get at these people. They're very murky, but they are powerful. They have a lot of money, are not in, in line with let's, let's figure out how we can make kids read better. They're more socialized. They want people to think in a, in a certain way socially like John Stossel was getting at in the, uh, in the environmental thing. Am I wrong? It is, it is absolutely true that there is a political agenda. And you know what? On one hand, it shouldn't matter what their political agenda is because the point of the NEA supposedly in representing teachers is they should be solely focused on bringing the best education to every classroom in America. And I take issue with what we just heard because they did not discuss substance. The vast majority of what they discussed had to do with opposing majority of reforms, opposing things that would actually help children and get rid of bad quality and bring in good quality. And the bottom line is, if you spend a lot of time on the gay and lesbian issues, you're not spending time on the fact that less than 40% of our kids nationwide know history, geography, That's math, true. and you okay. name it. That's Okay. Well, uh, Ms. Skinner, you want to reply to that? Sure, I do. You know, you talked about the social issues, and there are groups that have social agendas within it. It wasn't officially the NEA, but you know what? There was a caucus there, Bill, that was a pro-creationism caucus, and there was a pro-life caucus there. So there were all these social issues. But they issues. didn't get their stuff as far as well, the gays did. Now, 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 here's And the what, holistic people. You talk about, well, they need to focus on and providing the best education that they can because our state of our education is a disgrace. The average teacher after 15 years is making $41,000 a year. Yeah, I don't That's mind them lobbying for more money for teachers. Less than their I don't mind them doing that. But look, bottom line on this, Nancy, is that the NEA has failed dismally, and so has the public school system in this country, despite a massive amount of tax support. They failed dismally. So they ought to get out of the holistic business, get out of the gay business, and get in the reading business. All right, Join ladies. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's good All to right, see you both. Bill, when we